So, just a quick video about meditation. Um, of course, there are guided meditations, um, which I've created several. But basically, the best way to get the most out of the meditation, if it's just regular med sitting meditation without any guidance, is. Of course, having the right posture, having the right setup, getting comfortable. But as you begin to meditate, whatever is within your mind, whatever comes up in your heart or in your experience, the thing to do is kind of allow it. Um, to arise and be aware of it but also not indulge in it it's this combination of allowing something to come up for you and being aware of it without suppressing it and without indulging in it So, it's all about finding a way to get comfortable with your own emotions, with your own thoughts. A lot of times during the day we are running away from something, or when we're asleep, that's why we can't sleep, we're restless, we're running away from um, something that's deep within us. that needs to be dealt with but the secret, the key to it is giving play to it, meaning allowing it to arise and allowing you your consciousness to be able to see what it is whether it be emotional, whether it be thoughts being aware of it without indulging in it and without suppressing it talked about that in other videos, almost like staying between the, the ceiling and the floor, um, allowing it to come up, but not, not allowing it to be something that you're um, overly indulging in. You know, it's kind of like music. You don't want the music to be too quiet, and you don't want it to be too quiet so you can't hear it, but then you also don't want it to be so loud that it's overpowering. So you're just kind of listening to the music of your inner space. Um, as a way of getting to know yourself without making it too, dimming it down too much and suppressing it and also without indulging in it to the point where it becomes something you're obsessing about while you're sitting in meditation. And this is a way to prove to yourself that your thoughts and your emotions don't have power over you. And that they're not you. Maharaj said, when you meditate, you're learning about what you are not. You're learning about everything that you are not. And only by knowing everything that you are not can you know who you are. And who you are is nothing that can be conceived of. Nothing that can be perceived but just kind of that very steady, sane acknowledgement of what's there without indulging in it. That's what I found to be the key.